The mind is constantly occupied with thoughts. It never asks, what is the meaning of what I'm thinking about? What we think of as our mind is just the most peripheral part of it, like the ripples on the surface of the ocean. But there is a layer of the mind that can observe thought, and there is a deeper layer that accepts what it observes. Deeper and higher have the same meaning here. If we become connected to the essential part of the mind, we begin to search for truth, for understanding. The mind that wishes to understand is extremely valuable. In order to have understanding, we need to grow in both knowledge and being. Understanding comes from the fusion of knowledge and being. In order to understand, we have to bring our knowledge to our daily life and apply it. Then we have experiences. From these experiences we collect facts. Facts are necessary. They are an aspect of truth. Truth includes fact, but is in a much higher dimension. When the knowledge of the mind becomes the property of the heart, it becomes truth. If you sincerely ask yourself, Who am I? The only truthful answer you can find is, I am my understanding. Whatever you have is not yours. Your body is not yours. Your mind is not yours. Your feelings are not yours. Your sensations are not yours. They are temporary. But by unifying them, you could create something that becomes yours forever. Understanding. Understanding, like truth, is eternal. The state we are in has one cause, forgetfulness of our true nature, forgetting that we are. In one whole unified existence, everything is interconnected and interrelated. Everything belongs. If one cell out of the trillions of cells of your body knows its purpose, the entire universe is nurtured. Why is it that a thought of unity, of universal meaning, could be so nurturing for someone when their heart is also in it? Because it relates to that which is always present. If we are made in the image of eternal reality, it means we have the potential and the possibility to be present moment after moment. What prevents us from being present in this moment? If you look, you see that it's just the habit of the mind, the habit of the feelings, and the mechanicality of the body. So what should we do? Just see them for what they are. See they are just habits, not reality. I am that I am. There's nothing you can add to that. You may disagree with events and conditions, but at certain moments, you wish for the real. That wish itself comes from reality. That's why reality is receivable, not achievable. If you look into your life, you can see that mechanicality is part of it. Being upset is part of it. Being positive is part of it. Liking and disliking are part of it. Everything is a part of the show. But who are you? You are sitting on a chair and watching the show. You are not a player in the show. You are just watching. Watching, you are free. If you see something you like or something you don't like, your like and dislike are just part of the show. You see them without identification. The heart is our intimate connection to the source, and its job is to give the light of consciousness to the mind. When we manifest what is in the heart, we are filled up with the light of consciousness. Because that which is, is eternal, it is not subject to time or space. The joy of existence radiates from our being and gives us insight into the meaning and purpose of our life. Our being is always present, always in unity. Because it sees everything unseparated from itself, it knows there is only one existence, one awareness, one consciousness, one life, one energy. Everything is interconnected and interrelated. Nothing exists as a separate something. The curtain between us and reality is the result of perceiving only with our senses. If our perception is conscious, the curtain disappears. Be simple 
and know that you are here. There is also part of here. Where were we before conception? Right here in this moment. The moment is eternal reality. It gives us freedom from what we think we are by giving us a glimpse of who we really are. We are here in this moment.